Last time on Hermitcraft. <laughs> Ride the spider. <laughs> Ride the spider. <laughs> hey, come here, spider. Ride the spider. Yeah, come here. Come here, spider. Ride the spider. Yeah, you like being rid, don't you? Ride the spider. Yeah. <laughs> Ride the spider. Ride the spider. Yeah, spider. Ride the spider. This time on Hermitcraft. Hey guys, this is Schism, and welcome back to Hermitcraft. Let's see... This guy wants a piece. You want a piece, homie? You want a piece, homie? Why are you shaking, girl? Why are you shaking with that face, huh? Why are you shaking? Oh. Oh, man, you got knocked back. Oh, it's going to end poorly for you. Where you at, you bastard? Come up. Oh, hello. Slap your legs. Oh, and your two balls fell out. Isn't that just perfect? <laughs> All right, so... Apparently I'm already not hungry. We are expanding the desert forest a little bit here. We are expanding the desert forest a little bit. Right now, I have two variations of the tree. I've got the all cobble tree, and I've got this variation with a nether brick trunk. Um, so what I kind of did here was like this thing where they, you know, like trees grow close together, they'll like their, their leaves will intertwine. So that's kind of what I got going on here. And I wanted to have like a tall variant, and I was thinking about doing this with obsidian. And I don't like, I don't like that top. Um, I don't think I like nether rack, or I'm sorry, the, uh... hello, reach it. Oh, one more. Pillar, pillar, pillar. Yeah, I don't think I like the, uh... The redstone block up on the top here. It kind of looks like... I don't know, like lipstick or something, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Something's just not right about it. But what would look good on top of this? It's going to be a tall tree, I think. I don't know. I think about doing cobble again. For leaves, like if I did this type of thing. You know how you have this like, real tall... Funny looking trees. With some of this. What's that look like? It's not the worst thing in the world. Now, pretty much what I have to do at the top of all of these is keep... Oh yeah, that's what I should do. I should put the fire just sprouting through the top up here. Where's my flint and steel? Don't burn. So let's get a look at these three that we've got going on here. Who all is on the server right now, by the way? Whoa, what is going? Oh, they're right there. Yeah, we have... Pungence, Corallus, and Generic on. They are already. I think Corallus is helping uh, helping Joe out. They're already working on something pretty cool looking. Um, Joe is it's Pungence, by the way. <laughs> Sally. Shelter my murder. <laughs> I can't go anywhere with that. This was, uh, this was Sally, the receptionist from a couple episodes back, from the uh, Stinger in the beginning. You all remember Sally, right? And you don't remember Bob and Fred. Our unwitting... Our unwitting marks in that episode. So let's take a step back here and take a look at these trees. The whole idea of this, in case you guys haven't seen, is that I wanted to make like some sort of desert forest. Or at least... A couple of trees here and there, like like little clumps of them maybe, that are just gonna burn a little bit here and there. Speaking of Joostra, he doesn't like these trees. Yeah, I think I like them. I think I like it. We'll hang on to them for now. We'll hang on to them for now. So these are, these are just works in progress. I think I'm gonna take, I think I'll be able to take the torches out around here too. That was kind of what I was aiming for, like my end goal was just to have 
like a, a, a desert that doesn't have any uh, torches in it. And I think we can accomplish it with a little bits of these. Because something else that we could do, like, you know, like there's there's brushes, br brushes, <laughs> bushes and shrubbery and things like that. And we could do like, like, you know, we could do something like this where it's like, maybe like one of those. And just like little little plant-like objects here and there. Maybe that would look better. See, the, the nether brick is tough, man. The nether brick doesn't really look that good in too many applications. I don't know. We might end up scrapping this whole thing. We might end up scrapping this whole thing. I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, the uh, the other thing that we're working on over here, because <clears throat> this is just you know this is just side fun project. We are uh, working on the potato farm. Now I showed you guys this in the last episode, the uh, the proof of concept, just kind of how I wanted it to work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up. I think I decided that I'm gonna set this up right here kind of cascading down, <clears throat> God, I'm sorry, I'm choking, uh, maybe with a couple, a couple, uh, maybe like two or three rows of water that'll fall down into some hoppers at the bottom with uh, with the potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut and I will uh, bring you guys back in when we have something going on here. All right, guys, so we are going to test the basic mechanics of this thing right now. So what we've got here, it's <laughs> a big deep breath. Uh, man, I've hold my breath for some reason. Sometimes when, I, when I'm just sitting around, I'll just hold my breath. Like I, I realize that I haven't breathed deeply in a long time. It's just a weird thing. All right, so anyway, we're gonna test the mechanics and if everything goes well, we will pretty it up later. The idea, pretty simple. You know, hit this guy, redstone activates all the way over, retracting the pistons, letting the water drop. Um, so let's give it a shot. The water should come down. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you know what? I think it's actually... This old dude, water flow, man. I am just the worst with water flow in this game. I think this needs to be capped. There we go. Cool. So let's verify that that is indeed accurate. Boom. Do, 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 do. And a one, two, three, and a foe. So the water comes all the way down. Perfect. All right. Stop. Stop water. So, basic mechanics, score. Uh, I think what we're going to do here is... What? I thought I heard someone around. I thought I heard someone snooping. Um, hmm? Dude, I'm all paranoid for some reason. Um, oh, so that, that'll be good. That'll be, dude, that'll give us, get us a lot of potatoes each time. And with the pretty easy ability to widen this thing if we need it. Um... So what I'm going to do now is I need to make sure, I think I need to, some problems that we're going to have with this are going to be, when potatoes pop up, sometimes they pop up higher than a block. So the walls need to be at least too high. That is issue numero uno. Um, we also have to make sure, I want all the hoppers to be down here at the bottom. We're going to incorporate that new element of the game. And I think I want all the hoppers, because I don't want to go into each hopper. So I'm going to want all the hoppers to be going that way. I want them all to feed this way, so an item that falls in here winds up in that hopper. Perfect. Except this, it's going to be... Maybe this will be a button? That'll probably be a button. That should send enough signal. So I just need a little splash of water coming down. 
Oh, maybe longer than that. No, I need I do need a bit of water. Oh, and then it doesn't stop. Oh crap. Okay, so we'll have to figure that out too. Uh what? Uh what? <laughs> the oh the water knocked the stupid thing off. Alright. Um So we'll have to sort that out too. Make sure the water doesn't flow over the hoppers. We're gonna need some sort of stopping mechanism, some two block tall thing here. So when you walk into this thing, you might actually walk in at this, and the hoppers are on the floor, not in front of you. So the hoppers are going to go all the way down here to that chest. So an item that falls in any, whoops, any one of these. Yep, gets sucked. Dude, was that? I thought we had another little, uh, I thought we had some more duplication going on there. Hang on. Yep, that's, that, that adds up. Okay. So. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Alright. Getting errands, getting errands. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the general design. And we're going to have a nice little compact potato farm. With the uh, very decent ability to expand this thing later. So yeah. That's it, guys. Those are basic mechanics. We've got them all ironed out now. The only thing left to do now is pretty this thing up, uh, put the finishing touches on it, and, uh, yeah, make it look good. So other than that, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. As always, as always, please hit that like button if you liked it. It truly helps us YouTubers out. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll be back on later with some more Hermitcraft. And, uh, yeah, have a good day.